So the question has been asked, how do I get my Digistix 2 to work in Loopy Pro the way that you make it work in Loopy Pro? Well, uh, I, I, you, you have to understand a little bit about the keyboard to make this work. Like, for example, this is a C, and this is a this is a C sharp, and this is a D, and this is a D sharp, and this is a... You don't have to know that. Let's just move on, and I'm going to get to the iPad and show you how this works, and you don't have to know this. To show you how I do my drums uh, with Digistix and Loopy Pro, we're just going to start with the, uh, with a basic template, and I'm going to get rid of uh, uh, most of this just so that we can create uh, drums inside this template. Let's just go to Edit with the pencil button on the bottom, and uh, let's, just, let's just get rid of everything except for these two pink loops back here on the back end. Delete that. Uh, let's move you guys over towards the middle. And then uh, let's add about four buttons. One, two, three, four. And we're going to use these buttons as our drum pads. Okay. Now, now, now please note, I, I've, ju I've just got them lined up top to bottom. You can come in and move these however you want them. You can move them, you know, th th they can be set up however you, you want them to be set up. And again, I'm only using four. You can use six or 10 or two or 20. It doesn't matter. Once I show you how to do this, you can set it up however you prefer it to be set up. Here we go. So right now these buttons do nothing. So we want to set these buttons up for Digistix. To make this happen, we're going to go to the mixer right here on the bottom left. And we're going to add a channel. First of all, let's get rid of uh, all these Excuse me, let's get rid of all of these uh, channels that we're not using. And while I'm thinking about it, while I'm thinking about it, I have um, a mic and an input that I use that's running through my task scan, or, or through my Behringer. And uh, I, I don't have it, have it on. But if, you're, if you don't have a mic or anything hooked up to your iPad, when you do this, it's going to be trying to feed... The input from your iPad into these loops when we start doing this. So you want to make sure that's muted. Make sure this channel is muted, this audio channel is muted, or delete it either way. Okay, uh, let's go plus because we're going to add Digistix into into Loopy Pro. So we're going to go to Add Audio Unit Input, and there's Digistix 2, and it puts it right here. Now. For this to operate inside Loopy Pro, you're going to have to open Digistix 2 inside Loopy Pro. Okay. Now, uh, if you've if you've gone outside, I'm going to go outside. If you've gone to Digistix 2, uh, there there's there's the app open outside of Loopy Pro, and you've and you've created drums in here, which I have, and there's some drums. I've got them under user. There's a cajon. I've created that. Uh, you can go and you can create this in. Uh, outside, but you're going to have to open everything up inside Loopy Pro for this to work. So what I do is, uh, 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 let's say, let's close that out. <clears throat> I just create everything inside Loopy Pro, and it, and it keeps it on both sides. All right, so here we go. Let's open Digistix 2. Uh, let's, we're going to maximize it right here. And there's Digistix 2. And there's the default drums and the drums that I was showing you that I've created under User there it is. There's the cajon. That, you know that, that's what I've created. But let's go back to default, just so that uh, you can see what we need to do. We're going to slide down to the pads, and these are the pads. These are the drums. Love that snare buzz. Yeah. Okay. Remember me showing you? I showed you the. Uh, I showed you the notes on the keyboard. The the C the C1, the C2, and the, the, the C sharp, and the D, and the D sharp, okay? Well, that's what all of these are right here. The, this, is, this is not just a drum pad. This is a note, or a MIDI note. That's a note. That's a note. That's a note. And the way that you find that is go right up here on, uh, in, in this little block right here, okay? And we're going to keep clicking till we come to MIDI or MIDI options, and MIDI, or MIDI mapping. I'm sorry, to MIDI mapping. There's MIDI mapping right there. Now, uh, if I hit this, you're going to see that that right there is C248. If I hit snare, that is C sharp 249. That, that hi-hat is going to be D250. 
Now there is there is a uh, there's a problem, and I'm I'm going to explain this to you. I don't know why this does this, but the C2 is actually C3 in Loopy Pro. Okay, if I if I set this to C C3, it's actually going to be C4, and you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about here in just a moment. All you need to remember is this C2, but we're going to call this C3 in uh, in Loopy Pro here in just a second. There's our bass drum. Our snare is at C. I'm sorry. Our, our you know our snare is at C sharp two, right there. And then our hi hat is at D two, and then our that is D sharp two. Now uh, again, bear in mind you're going to have to make that three, not two, but three. Why? I don't know, but I do know that that that's how it is. So we got C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and that's two. But actually, it's going to be three. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let the games begin. <laughs> We're going to go to edit our trusty edit pencil over here. Oh, I don't want to go to there. We want to go to edit. And we're going to go to this first button, which we want to be our kick drum. Press. We're going to press. I'm going to type in MIDI. It's going to take us all the way to the bottom. Send MIDI message. Target is going to be Digistix 2. Note the MIDI note. Now, right now, it's not sending anything, okay? I hit send. It's not sending anything. If I go to note, remember C4, it was at C2, so we want this to be C3. Because 3 equals 2. I, why? I don't know. So if I tap this, it should be the kick drum. And there it is. There's your kick drum. Okay? And if I come out of this, my kick drum... There's my kick drum. Now, if this is sounding really weird to you, if this drum is not sounding like it should, it's because you have this channel. Uh, mine is not muted because I'm not running anything through it, but you have this channel and it's picking up your mic and everything else. The reason being is because it's sending everything through this pink channel right here, okay? So if you'll just mute this channel, you're, it'll, it'll, it'll get the sound that you desire. It'll. So there's your kick drum right there, okay? Let's go ahead and put... Uh, a snare right here. The snare was on uh, C sharp, I believe. I'm going to MIDI and send MIDI message. I'm going to note and how come? Oh, we got to tell it to go to Digistics. Yeah, Digistics and C sharp three. For my teens, C hashtag three. Sorry. That should be the snare. And it is. Again, this value right here is going to be your volume. I'm going to back that down just a little bit. I'm going to back it down a lot. Okay. And I'll put it back. And there's your snare. Okay. While we're at it, let's go ahead and set uh, these guys up for something. Uh, let's, let's look at let's look at our let's look at our uh, oh, by the way, there's your kick snare let's set these two for something pretty cool let's go to digistics and see what we have uh, clap let's do the clap i like that so if the clap is at f2 it's actually going to be f3 okay and then uh, uh f2 f sharp 2 which is actually going to be f sharp 3 and f3 okay so edit MIDI, MIDI message, Digistix, yeah, there we go, F sharp 3. I'm probably looking at it wrong. And then back to MIDI on the bottom. Digistix, note. There's a, that's a little loud. Let's back that down just a bit. Okay. Then if we back out of this, there's a... I hope that's clear. I'm going to close out the mixer. 